I'm going to show you something really fun. This item here is called a body sock. Some of the children you're about to see have some sensory processing difficulties, which can affect their motor coordination and spatial relationships, their ability to regulate affect, and their success in group participation. Well, this is a sock for your whole body. But I'm going to show you, you step in and put your feet in the corners, like this. And then you go inside. We're going to put this over our head, like this. Or you can, yeah, you can be all different things in it. How large and small you can get is a growing and shrinking movement that not only works the extremities but requires initiation from one's body center or body core. The body core comprises the pelvis, the thorax, and our backs. As the body core is strengthened, better coordination is achieved between right and left, upper and lower, or diagonal body halves. Let's see how big you can get in here. I want you to get as big as, what are big things? <laughs> hello! How about as big as a, a big loud hello? So to get, to get big. Hello! Hello! hello. Get as big as you want and say, hello! 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 Let's get really small now and get as small as you can. Really small. It's small. Let's get really, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look how small you can get. Like a little, beautiful, a little bubble. Maybe a little toad on a, on a rock. See if you can get a shape that's in between big and small. You can try putting your head in now. Put your head in and then put your head out. Now put your hand in and press it as hard as you can, press. Pressing into the elasticity of body socks not only builds muscular strength, but helps reference the body core. By pressing the hand or foot or knee into the resistance of the fabric, you feel how your movements are all connected to the center of your body. Accessing this central core or body center increases awareness of the self and contributes to better motor control. After your children move and play in the body sock, you'll find they attain better focus, motivation, and impulse control, all while having fun. And put it in. Now your feet, push your foot out. Push and try to touch somebody's foot near you. I'm a chair. You're a chair. Okay. Or you can become this chair. An armchair or a, a lounge chair. Using an image or sound can consolidate the movement and add an element of fun. See if we can all come together in one big clump. Like you're an atom coming over into a molecule. Roll into the molecule. <laughs> Let's get close with our feet and then we're going to explode. Like the molecule is really hot, we're going to open really fast away from each other. When I say go, ready? One, two, three, go! All right. Now roll back. Roll back so we come slowly towards each other. Not only is a picture worth a thousand words, but it also slowly can access together. the neural pathways that are required in achieving an otherwise complicated pattern of movement. What else can you make? What other shape can you make? All right, we've got lots of neat shapes. Beautiful. <laughs> That's fantastic. Let's see it in your shape. Excellent. 
if you can make a sound with it, make a sound that like you're a, a little creature. <laughs> You can put things inside with you to create different shapes and characters. Use balls of different sizes. You can also dress body sock up on the outside too. Wear your shoes, tie some belts or scarves, wear a hat or glasses. The possibilities are endless. Body Socks creates the physical experience of having body boundaries. Even touch can be modulated and safer from within a body sock. We're going to press our feet now. Press your feet against somebody else's feet. We can let's all go in a circle and do it at the same time. Press your feet. Or against somebody's legs. All right. Moving and then freezing the movement helps to contain and regulate hyperactivity and poor impulse control. And then when I stop the music, I want you to freeze. You can roll. You can slide. Freeze. Okay, beautiful shapes. Wow, when I come and touch you, I want you to make a sound. That's how I said any sound. A sound, not words. Okay. Having your children add a sound when you touch them enhances their listening skills and gives them the opportunity to express themselves. Body Socks provides a boundary they can feel as they begin to express themselves in a group. See how close you can get without touching. Freeze. Freeze into a shape. Okay, this time when I touch you, you have to move that part of your body that I touch. Initiating a movement with a particular Excellent. body part helps improve sensory motor control <laughs> right. and still makes a game out of following instructions. Fantastic. Go down on the ground like you're really low and in the earth. See how low you can go. Freeze. Freeze into an awesome shape. All right. Good. Now when I touch a part of your body, I want you to, if I touch, say, your elbow, I want you to put your elbow to touch one person and then freeze again. We're going to make a big one-shape puzzle. So if I touch your knee, then you touch your knee to one person and then you freeze. Ready? Here I come. Puzzle making uses a controlled touch That's to it. promote group cooperation. Shoulder. Touch your shoulder to that group over there. Head. No, what do we need? Touch your head to one part of this. You're going home to your nest. Using a cooperative image such as birds coming home to their nest creates purpose and a feeling of belonging. Touch your knee. Find a, a place to rest your knee if I touched your knee. And the last person, fingers. <laughs> Fantastic. I wish you could see it. 